I would like to demonstrate how you can make a linear fit inside R. And for that, again, we need to, to look at some kind of a data set. And here I want to, to look at the, the cast data set. And um, it should uh, come uh, here. It has two uh, uh, observations, or it has uh, 50 observations which uh, two variables, the speed and uh, distance. Um, and actually I'm a bit in doubt of what is, uh, yeah, it's a uh, speed of cars and the distance taken to stop. And it's a quite old data set, so modern cars will probably be able to do it a, a bit better. But let's look at the data in the ggplot. So we'll just try to plot it, and it seems like if you increase the speed, you also increase the braking distance. That makes quite good sense. Um, and it might also be trending upwards a bit here. As a physicist, I would expect this to go up as a quadratic, uh, so a parabola with a top point at uh, 0.0, .0, and then it should uh, uh, curve upwards but I don't think that trend is as clear here. Um, so let's just clear this, this up a, a bit. So on the x-axis we have the, the speed in miles per hour. And on the y-axis we have the braking distance uh, and that is in feet, like that. Now it's very clear what is, is being shown here. What I would like to figure out here is to make a linear model of this and see if, if that is uh, possible to fit, and what are the properties of this. And for doing a, a linear model, we will use a LM uh, function that is designed to, to fit these uh, linear models. And it takes a formula that, that describes whatever we want to try to explain with uh, the data and the data we should be looking at. So here we want to explain the distance given the, the, the speed. Uh, not. Okay, usually I'm able to insert that. Uh, just copy from over here. Just in terms of speed, and the data was this uh, cast data set. And now it uh, gives us a very brief overview of, of the values it has found. It has found an intercept value of minus uh, 17 and a coefficient of the speed uh, variable here to be around 3.9. But uh, let's see if we can uh, gain a bit more details about this. So I can pipe this into the summary function. And now we can see a bit more details about the different uh, values. So what we are seeing down here is for each of the coefficients in the model that has been uh, generated, is how um, important they are. And the lower the p-value it is here, <coughs> the more the value is needed inside the, the model. Um, so we can see that the speed is absolutely required. It's 10 to the minus 12 here. Whereas the y-intercept is, there is a quite large error on that one. So it's not that uh, important to, to have in place. It's still um, different from, from zero, but uh, not as important as, as the other one. So um, let's see if we can plot this on, on top of uh, this one. And actually, I think we can just say uh, start smooth down here. 
and then we'll, we'll try to fit some kind of model. Okay, it was um, it used a, a different uh, model, so we need to to specify it should be a linear model. And again, uh, just uh, change the different style here. So what we are having here is uh, the line that was fitted, and we if we go here from 5 to 10 and we can see we increase this value from 0 to approximately uh, 20 and that matches quite well with uh, the estimated uh, coefficient of the speed uh, variable so it's the speed is increased in 5 units here and 5 times 4 is uh, 20 and that's more or less the same increase as, as we have here the gray bar indicates the uncertainty um, around this uh, line, taking into account uncertainties and in, in both the interception value and the distance or the, the slope and the distance from, from the center of, of the distribution. So using this approach, it's possible to take your data and, um, and get these uh, values out where you can see what are the, the coefficients of the, the model. And we can also actually uh, write this uh, model um, where we have the distance. It should be uh, given by the this 3.9324 times the uh, speed. And then uh, minus the, the other coefficient. 17.5 So now we have a relation between these uh, two uh, parameters. So far, so good. Um, so that was a, a simple linear fit. If you want to include additional uh, dependencies, uh, independent uh, variables here, uh, you can name, you can add them uh, here with a plus, and then it will include all of these uh, elements in, in the linear model. But let's keep it here from, from now.